Okay, uh, speak with Sid. All right, just gotta get to the guy. Get on a chocobo. Is there any point in partying up at the moment? Because I don't know how far I am from the. Uh... Honestly, no, because oh, I'm about to start. Yeah. Right yeah, you're starting to solo duty. Yeah, I've just found it, and it's got that glow. So, yep. Yep. Solo duty. I think I'm just about done too. Actually, are you just finishing the solo duty? Well, no, I mean, I've been out of Soul of Duty already. I'm oh, okay. I'm just not sorry. done with Heaven's Word, period. Oh, I see what you mean. Oh, I've still got a while yet, so. Yeah. I'm pretty close to the... Okay, here we go. Heading into the Solo Duty. I don't know. You, did you say there was voice actor cutscenes? Yeah, before that, yeah, there are. So this is probably going to be after. voice acted, so I'm just going to mute up. If it's not, then I can always unmute. Enable the teleporter. One brief jump and we shall arrive in Omega's control room. How convenient. You've been here before. Of course. It was no easy task threading a path through all the skirmishes. But how could I ignore the existence of such a fascinating toy? You may trust that my preliminary examination was suitably thorough. Trust? Aye. I trust your appetite for technology. I chased down a suspect airship, and who should I find but the traitor, Sid Garland. Searching for something, engineer? Something big? It's close, isn't it? <laughs> it's like all my name days have come at once. All the scouts the Empire could have sent. Take care of that brute, will you? Damn it. Can't let Nero tinker around in there by himself. I'm sorry to leave you to it, but I dare say you'll manage without me. This clod has no idea who he's dealing with. Samurai of Doma, you will rue your choice of opponent this day. I don't know how I'm supposed to take this big guy as threatening with those rosy red cheeks of his. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, he's got more freckles than Dennis the Menace. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, here we go. I gotta defeat this guy. Actually, I should probably zoom out a little bit just to make my life a little bit easier. 
been a while since I played. Not the best idea to jump straight into a fight, but can't help it. Oh, you're determined to fight me, aren't you? With soul and steel. The space is actually more open. Wait, we're only halfway through. Another cutscene, I guess. Okay, so now I have Magitek armor. Yup, you get to ride the Red Baron, Nero's, Nero's favorite toy. I'm just gonna run You've over. You've got four different moves you can do with it in case you haven't noticed already. This would be in your best interest to use any, every one of them. I can tell you the one I believe on the far left is a close range AoE with a big circle in it. So if you got enemies around, you use that one. If you got one that's a beam of the upper one, the lower one is the target you move around, the smaller one to a certain spot, and then the one on the right is your regular tiger or cat. Pretty much is just completely wiping out every fucking thing you can Oh yeah. <laughs> You will have to deal with Colossus as soon as they show up, deal with them, because you don't want them attacking your allies. No holding back. Oh yeah, I see the big guy now. Yeah, there'll be more than one, so they'll keep, no keep showing up. No surrender. I have you. It's all over now. Yep, I am starting the credits. 
Oh, sweet. Oh, and the fucking Magitek armor's depleted, but everybody's leaving, so... Yeah. Yeah, once you get to that point, that's supposed to happen. So, that means you've gotten through that phase. Okay. Not to fight Grin Watt again with what's left of his health, but he kind of goes on a Scorch Earth mission, so watch out for AoEs. No retreat. No surrender. Okay, I'm still fighting him at the moment. Doing okay so far, he hasn't actually managed to hit me yet. Okay, he got me there. Oh yeah, a lot of attack here. Yup. If everybody else would like to come and help me, that'd be great. You know, maybe get some hits on him. You know, make yourselves useful for a change. Not asking me to do everything here. I mean, who am I, Nova? Okay, he's down. Alright, we're going into cutscenes, so I'm guessing this one's voice actors as well, so yep. I'm going to meet up again now. Fun. Central stasis disengaged. All systems operational. Garland? All clear on this side. It's waking up. Omega sensors immediately detected the presence of the cocoon, even at this distance. They must have been sent to scan for sources of energy exceeding certain magnitudes. I still don't see any means to control the machine directly. It seems to have been designed to act wholly autonomously. Hmm. Once we release Omega, we can be fairly certain it will attempt to capture the Primal at Belsar's Wall. Assuming its mission is successful, our only option at that point will be to re-engage its stasis system and put it back to sleep. And should the machine happen to misbehave, we'll simply initiate an emergency shutdown. I confess, we don't yet have a complete grasp of its capabilities, but I'm certain the details will not elude us for long. Well, I understood less than half of that. So, my question to you is, are we doing the right thing? What do I think? Side, Sid. Is this the thing I need to press? Uh, yes, that's the one.
You gave too much for us to waste this chance, Papalimo. So this is for you. And me. The launch sequence has begun. Omega is loose.
Omegra stopped transmitting. But that shouldn't be. I, I didn't engage the stasis system. And what does this signify? I have little understanding of these contrivances. The launch went exactly to plan, but all signals emanating from Omega have ceased. This may indicate any number of things, but we will need to join the Scions out in the field, if we are to ascertain which one. Right. I've ordered a malfunctioning beast to go to sleep. That should prevent any unfortunate mishaps. I suggest we make our way back to Gridania. Omega destroyed the cocoon. Papalimo's spell is fading. It was bound to his ether, you see. And if the connection is broken... Okay, finally that cutscene is finished, and my next quest will be the final quest of Heaven's Ward. All right. Uh, but we're going to take a quick break here because it's been just over an hour, and I want to take a quick bathroom break because we got like the final quest, we got all the cutscenes, and then we'll have the credits as well. So. Yep, and I'm still in the credits right now. By the way. Oh fucking hell. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to take like a short like. 10 minute break just so I can go to the bathroom and then we okay. will do the final recording session for today and finish off Heaven's Org. <laughs> <laughs> 